Hello everybody and welcome to your 28 C++ Made Easy HD tutorial. So last tutorial we learned um, about the constructor and stuff um, but we didn't really get into the destructor. So we're going to start off with that and then we'll get into overloading constructors after. So in our con in our destructor what we're going to do is and I think this squiggly line is called a tilde or tilde I don't know really the pronunciation but a T I L D E is the spelling of it. Um. Anyways, we're gonna say uh. A player is now destroyed. So a quick note is that in C++ whenever it reaches the end of main that means that we know that the main is what everything runs through so when it reaches the end of main what it does is that it destroys every single object uh, that was created right or every single instance of the object that was created so that's when the destructor is called uh, so what we're gonna say um, so what's gonna happen is in our constructor uh, what we're gonna Put in here is I'm gonna say CO uh, player is created is now created and then says player is now destroyed. So what's gonna happen? Oh, what did I do here? What did I do now? Okay, I think I screwed up something. Anyways. Um, so it says uh, what's gonna happen is it's gonna say player is now created, right? Uh, it's gonna s then display the health, and then uh, it's gonna uh, once it reaches the end of the program, uh, it's going to say that um, the player is destroyed. Uh, so let's run this. Now I don't think it's going to show it because it shows it for a split second because as soon as it reaches um, down here, uh, then it, that's when it's going to show it. Let me so let me see if I. Uh, okay, so I I ran it without um uh, without debugging by clicking in Control F5 um using Visual Studio. So right after the program is finished running. Uh, then it says players now destroyed and then we can press uh, key to continue uh, so in Visual Studio to run without debugging is control F5 I'm not sure how it is in code blocks or Dev C++ anyways so that is how the destructor works so if you allocate something using new or something in the destructor that's when you should call delete keywords etc etc okay so now let's talk about overloading uh, constructors and this should be a concept that is familiar to you guys because we've talked about it in functions uh, so uh, just like a function can a player can have I mean a constructor uh, could have uh, multiple different overloads so we can take one with health and uh, we can take a player with um, health and attack power, let's say. And um, we can do that so on and so forth. So the same, the same way we would do with functions, we can do with constructors. And uh, so, so each, each um, constructor can do its own thing. So. Uh, I just call uh, the regular constructor right here. So first overload, and then we'll create the other ones. And we'll say second. Oh, I spelled first wrong, whatever. Overload. And last but not least, uh, and to indicate power, and we could say a uh, third overload. Okay, and for those of you who that's really going to irritate you, there I changed it. Uh, so now. If I call the f the default one, 
display held. Did I just delete that? Yeah, I did. So this one should say first overload. Actually, no, it didn't. Hmm. Oh, sorry. The thing is that we don't have anything in the parameters, so we don't need to put the parameters there. So uh, we call the first overload. Um, if we put something of value in our parameters, then it should call second overload. And if we put in two values, uh, it should call the third overload. Uh, so in this way, you can have different uh, constructors to be called for different events in your program, right? So, uh, for example, uh, if you have say, say it's um say you have an entity or or a character class, for example, right? And um, a character can either be a player or it can be an enemy, right? Now, once we get into polymorphism, you can derive from the character class have two different classes, right? Uh, but say uh, the player has one extra attribute that the enemy doesn't have, like or 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 whatever, right? So we could say that the entity has one it has two different overloads, one for enemy and one for the player. So whichever one that we're creating, then we can call whichever constructor we need to do it in order to make that for the either the player or for the enemy. Uh, so that is it for constructors and destructors. So I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. Thanks for watching and bye.